Okay, dear. So we are going to start the. Okay, dears, we are going to start chapter number seventeen summary, which is investigation, due diligence, forensic accounting. The base here is investigation. You know why? Due diligence is also a type of investigation. Forensic accounting is also a type of investigation. Now, investigation is a critical. in-depth examination to establish a fact how it becomes due diligence when it is very specifically dealing with corporate restructuring swot analysis strength weakness opportunity threat then it becomes due diligence for the potential investors now forensic accounting it is again a type of investigation uh, dealing with fraud mainly um, it should have some pending case litigation it will end with court proceeding court of law now as the name of the chapter itself this particular topic has three parts investigation due diligence forensic accounting so we'll start first with due diligence and the due diligence is the smallest topic so we are starting with that so first they say what is due diligence as we said it's a type of investigation for the potential investors uh, corporate restructuring um, to see what all are the deal killers in the target company swot analysis okay now second what are the classification of due diligence or scope of due diligence there are seven areas like financial operational environmental human resources tax uh, um law etc information system in that very 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 important is financial due diligence they can ask you specifically with respect to this so think practically and study that you are getting two companies financials you'll study the history of the company accounting policy review the financial mm, from the financial analyze the taxation cash flow future projections management statutory compliance now in that review of financials okay one part is there regarding review of financials i will write separately yes one area is there like review of financial statements uh that is very 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 important there we have over valuation of come on over valuation of assets assets can be overvalued or there can be hidden liabilities and i just think of the items in balance sheet you will get the points that is review of financial statements whether there is overvaluation of assets or hidden liabilities then coming to the work approach how to go about while conducting the due diligence like it is the steps in due diligence finally we will end by giving the due diligence report these are the topics which are there with respect to due diligence now moving forward with forensic accounting so it starts with what is forensic accounting the word forensic okay uh not only forensic then it goes with forensic accounting hmm? forensic accounting then there is something called as what red flag it's the indication of danger accounting red flag operation red flag behavioral red flag so that's the first part then difference between audit and invest um, i'm sorry audit and forensic accounting uh this has been once asked for the examination and as i've told you earlier you can draw in call up then as a forensic accountant what are your scope work opportunity you can detect fraud prevent fraud 
computer forensic like develop the computer applications and um, you can even testify as expert witness and you can do various services criminal investigation financial crime investigation etc then what is the forensic audit process uh, something similar to investigation process only but here it ends with court proceedings so there are totally six steps it starts with initialization huh? then develop the plan through the plan you will obtain evidence after you obtain evidence you will analyze the evidence then you report end with court proceedings because for a forensic audit to happen it should end with court proceedings right okay then reporting um, forensic audit report. Finally, in material, they are just giving introduction of standard, which is called as forensic accounting and investigation standard. It's just a summary. So these are the topics there in forensic accounting. So due diligence and forensic accounting. Earlier, we used to call it as forensic audit. Now it is forensic accounting. Right? All good? Now going to the last and the biggest part of the chapter. But I would say it is the easiest part because uh, more of general things. Okay. Investigation. First, what is investigation? Um, investigation is the critical, systematic examination for a specific purpose to establish a fact. And there are certain special issues like uh, can you take the expert help? Yes, with the consent of the client. Do you need to maintain working paper? Yes, because we need to prove its future evidence. Can you put reliance on the audited statement? Yes, unless there is doubt. There are certain special issues. Then difference between audit and investigation. Like we said, difference between audit and forensic accounting. Here, audit and investigation, the difference. Then steps. We said here, process of forensic accounting. Six steps were there. Here, it is only five. Why? Because here, there is no court proceedings. So here, you will start with determine the objective, then formulate the program, examine the records to collect evidence, analysis, give the report five steps. Now you have the very important hero types of investigation. In the type we have statutory investigation, investigation into affairs and investigation into ownership and we have non-statutory investigation. In non-statutory investigation there is investigation on behalf of incoming partner. If you are admitted as a partner of a firm, what all you have to investigate? Then, valuation of shares, net worth method, yield method. Then, on behalf of financial institution, bank, for sanctioning of loan. Then, for buying a business, buy a business, buy a business. Then profit forecast. It is profit or forecast. When we hear two things will come to mind. One SAE chapter number 11. What 3400 plus professional ethics clause. Three part one second schedule. Okay. Uh, then regarding. Um, which one does I be? Yeah, regarding the frauds. Fraud, they have dealt in detail. And here also they are saying about SA 240 types of fraud, uh, indicators of fraud, etc. They are talking. Then fraud in various ledgers, cash receipts, cash payment. I'm not writing up. Huh? Cash receipts, cash payment, supplier ledger, customer ledger, inventory frauds, data frauds, uh, um, system related frauds. Then corporate fraud, personal fraud, operational frauds. 
so all these are the types of what types of non statutory investigation so comparatively big chapter but a general chapter more or less and easy also okay so that's chapter number 17 for you okay yes 